Here's how to apply manual lens corrections when developing RAW files in Affinity Photo. The most common scenario for lens corrections not being applied automatically is when you have shot with a completely manual lens that has no electronic connection to the camera body. So the camera cannot write any lens information into the metadata of the RAW file. Let's take this image as an example. If we move across to the lens panel, we have a warning icon here that says a lens profile for this image could not be selected automatically. Not a problem though, we can click into this combo box here to get a list of lenses. Now I happen to know that I shot this image with a Samyang 35mm f1.4 lens. So I can click into the search box here and start typing Samyang to narrow down the list of lenses and there is my lens here, so I can just click to apply the relevant correction. Now I can just click anywhere else like here to hide the combo box. Okay, let's look at a slightly different scenario with this raw image. So we do actually have lens information here. Now I shoot with a telephoto lens. It's actually for a Canon mount, but I shoot it on my Sony body with the help of an electronic adapter. And this, of course, will pass through the lens information. But the problem is that it adds the name of the adapter to the end of the lens string here, or ID as we might refer to it. And that prevents an automatic correction from being applied. So I need to go into Lens Profile here and search for Sigma and just find the 150 to 600 with the C at the end and then select that to apply the correction. Now we also have these categories here, recent and favorites. So recent will list the most recent corrections we've applied, but we can also favorite lens profiles to reuse them very quickly. So if we go back to that Sigma profile, I can click the heart icon to the right of the profile to make it a favorite. Let's do the same for the Samyang. So I'll go to the recent category and click the heart icon here as well. And now both of these lens profiles will be added to my favorites. So if I have another RAW file that was shot with the same telephoto lens, I can simply go into my combo box here, move to favorites and select that lens profile. Finally, we can also apply lens corrections to out of camera JPEGs. And this is incredibly useful because for manual lenses, there will be no in-camera lens corrections applied for the JPEG output. So we need to do this manually. With the JPEG file here, we can just move into the develop persona. Once again, go across to the lens panel, go to lens profile, and I made that Samyang profile a favorite, so I can just apply it like so. And then I might just take advantage of the manual options here. For example, I might just nudge rotation into a negative value slightly to correct the level of this brick wall here. And once we're finished, we can just click develop and move back to the photo persona for some further editing. So there we go, a quick look at how to manually apply lens corrections.